Hey, this is Donnie Smith for CollisionBlast.com. Collision Blast is one of the top sites for DIY auto body and paint. And I also have one of the top channels on YouTube for DIY auto body and paint, the same niche. On this YouTube channel, I currently have over 20,000 subscribers and almost 7 million views. I have multiple YouTube channels, another channel, you know, it's a smaller channel. I just have 21 videos on this channel that uh, test auto related products to see if they really work or not and out of those 21 videos I've got three and a half million views over three and a half million views so this video I'm gonna cover how to start a blog because I've been asked you know how did I generate the views how did I get the website well I'm gonna show you and if you totally do not understand uh, computer stuff if you're not if you're not a uh, computer geek or anything like that well, that's okay because I'm not either. And if I can do if I can do this, I guarantee you can. I'm going to show you how simple it really is. You may want to start a blog if you have a business you'd like to increase traffic to that website. You know, get more views. Or if you're a DIY like me, you know, just want to share your passion. You know, and get it out to the world, or looking for a way to generate income online. Whatever your reason is, uh, this you should find this video useful and find out just how easy it is to start a blog of your own. Okay, to get started, first all we're going to do is uh, go to the website to get a blog started. So I'm going to type it up in here, and the website is www.collisionblast.com backslash DIY blog. And that is going to take you to this page right here. And this is where you can start, get it started at. So I'm going to click the Get Started button. And now it's going to come up with a page where it's asked for what do, the do, domain name. And I've thought of one. I'm going to see if it's available. Now, if it's not available, you'll have to think, you know, come up with another one. But I'm thought about naming this on, the, on a website for this video series. My, uh, that's a different website there. My uh, DIY Business. Okay, now let's see if that's available. And that does show available. Now it's just going to ask for my information, so I'm going to start putting that in here. Okay, for the plan, you can go $4.95 for 36 months, which is going to be your lowest price, but I'm going to go one year at $6.95. I'm going to choose that option. And I am not going to use the site lock or backup or the privacy at this time. I'm just going to leave those blank. Now the billing information, I'm going to enter that. Okay, I got my name and billing information in there. Next, what I'm going to do is just uh, click and confirm to the terms and agreements and hit next. Make sure that you do accept the, the terms there. Now it brings you up to some additional things that you can uh, use. I'm not going to use any of those services and hit complete. Now it's going to ask for a password for the account. So I'm going to click that and type that in there. Okay, and now hit create. Okay, we got that done. Now we're going to log in. So I'm going to put my domain name in. And my password. Okay, there are some different tools you can use, uh, videos, you know, a lot of useful information, but uh, don't let it get, to get you confused. Just go to the C panel here, and then you're going to go down here where it says Website Builders and click on WordPress. Now it's going to start downloading the WordPress site for you. All you have to do with this is point and click. Pretty simple. Okay, we're going to start a new install. And we're going to use that domain. 
Okay, right here it shows uh, show advanced options. You want to do that. You want to name your blog. Admin name. We are going to use, I'm just going to use admin for right now. And then enter a password. Okay, you want to click that and then click install. Okay, it's going to ask you about some upgrades. Uh, don't pay attention to that right now. Just click out of that. And it's showing the progress right here. Okay, now the install is complete. We can open up a new tab and type in our website, which is my DIY business and this is what it looks like. Of course there's no content or anything we can customize all this but the first thing you want to do is log in. And this is the login name that you and password that you just chose inside of the uh, cPanel. Okay, and now we are on the back side. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go to Appearance because there's different themes that you can go with. Now, I would recommend staying with one of these three, the 2012, 13, or 14 because those are WordPress sites and, uh, you know, all the, the coding and everything is going to be right on those. There's a bunch of other ones you can check, you know, if you're interested. Um, what you do if you want to uh, check the other themes, there's thousands, but, you know, some of them are just individual uh, sites that people have uh, created and some of the coding might not be just right in them you know I would stick with one of the ones that I know but you can find theme you can go through there and search for a lot of different themes but I am just going to use the uh, 2014 because that's a really nice theme now you can go through here and customize it and the widgets the things on the sidebars like right here and here you know you can put videos and there's quite a bit you can do with that I'm and we're not going to mess with that right this moment because I'm just wanting to set you how to show you how to set up the blog. But there's quite a bit you can do, and I'll show you in some upcoming posts. There's also some a uh, couple of plugins that I'm going to show you how to install, especially for you know if you do what like DIY. I use a lot of video because most of my DIY is on video, and uh, I'll show you a plugin for that later. One more thing I want to show you with uh, with this is uh, how to how to write a blog. You just hit new, and you want post media about pitch. You know, it's if you want a picture, page, or but right now we're just going to make a new post. And let's say that I was on the my website here. And let's go to see my latest video that I have here. This was last Tuesday's video. Okay, let's stop it. Now, until we get that plug in, the one thing you can do is you can uh, share it and, and hit this embed code. Now, if it has an embed code and allows you to embed that, you're perfectly fine to use any YouTube video on YouTube. You know, it's allowed. If the user did not want that allowed, you know, that this code will not be available. But just about 95% of them, you know, about all of them I've ever seen are. And you can customize the sizes some if you want to. But I'm just going to take this code. I'm going to copy it. And this is uh, sanding steps. I'm going to go back to the uh, site over here. I'll put Sandy and Prep Steps. You want to hit this text because this is your HTML code and paste it in there. And you could write something before or after that if you wanted to. Uh, I'm just going to put this, this in my first post.
and then you hit publish. Now let's check it out. Okay, now you can see you've got the title here. You've got the video, which will play on the blog. And then you have uh, this first post. This should be, this is my first post on this blog, but anyway, it's kind of in a hurry. But anyway, you could write however much words you want to above or below the video, however you choose. But anyway, that is basically it. That's all it takes to set up a blog. Now, there's some more things that I'm going to show you. I uh, also need to show you how to set up a YouTube account and how I do that because that's a you know a big part of this blog. But this blog is really your hub, your main spot. You know this is where you're going to direct your traffic to. And, and uh, these WordPress blogs, you know they are SEO friendly and they gain a lot of uh, uh, clicks and, and views. So you definitely want to to do this step. You know you want to set up your own blog. And also on this blog, I'll show you later, you know, there are ways that you can make money with this blog. You know, you can set up some ways to generate income. But I'll show you that in upcoming events. But for now, just get your own blog set up. And I'll be back in this video series to show you what to do next. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. And we'll see you in the next video.